the gong a lot and there's a, a kind of, you're building up a whole series of um, uh, interlocking vibrations. Uh, the Kriya is very demanding. Uh, and uh, how to make the ordinary people coming to gong bath? Uh, um, that was an example of a set that was taught in 1971. Um, there were also a couple of uh, warm-ups before it. Um, you can, as always, reduce the times of the individual exercises. And there are many Kriyas that call for gong meditation during the Kriya. And it's your choice when you want to give gong meditation after any Kriya. So in other words, you can choose any Kriya and after the Kriya, after the relaxation, decide you're going to do gong meditation. After the relaxation, did you say that? Mm. So first the relaxation without the gong, and then the gong. Yeah, sure. Or you can, okay. or you can simply mm -hmm. use the gong during the relaxation, yes. and then chant my mm. guru or something or whatever. Mm. What about the volume? It's very, it can be very high volume, like, almost painful, I think can be very loud. Yeah, you I mean, is, it is, is there any harm with it, or is it, is there a point to go very loud? Uh, 